Hi, this is Margaret from Margaret's Crafts. I wanted to share with you some of my knitting, crocheting, and a very, very small haul that I have. Uh, the first item I have for you is a finished item, and that is a pair of socks. Uh, these are the uh, the Vanilla Latte Socks by, uh, let me check, by Virginia Rose Jeans. And the, the yarn that I use is the uh, Peyton's Croy and the Route 66. And for the heels and the toes, I just use the Cascade Heritage in uh, a gray. Uh, for the socks I did, I did like a one and a half inch uh, ribbing and then down until I started the heel, I just did a total of five inches from the cast on and then I started the heel in the gray and then I did down the foot and then I did the uh, the toe and uh, in the gray. Uh, the, the heel didn't, I didn't do the heel for the project. I did the fish lips kissed heel. And then the toe that I like is the, the toe by um, Hermione's Everyday Socks. I like that toe. It comes to a nice rounded toe. So that's uh, my first finished item for the year. And it's the sock, the fish lips kissed heel, and then my nice rounded toe. So they came out really nice. There's how the toe comes out. And I love this. The coloring is really pretty. And that's my socks. And this year I'm not doing the, the sock club where I'm doing 12 pairs of socks for the year. Even though last year I did 13 pair. Uh, this year I'm just going to keep a pair of socks uh, on the needles on the go with me. When I go somewhere I carry a pair of socks with me. So this is my first pair of socks. I finished these in uh, January, I think. Let me see. Nah, I finished these uh, beginning of February. Because I just take these with me on the go. And as you can see behind me, these bags and stuff that I have hanging here, I... I put those, I put socks in the bags and I just carry, you know, I just take, uh, when I finish with one sock, I just reach up there, whatever socks in that bag, I grab that sock bag and I make socks, but I'm just not doing the, um, uh, the sock club. And I did slow down on my knitting from, uh, last year because I did pick up a, restarted a old craft, which is kind of cross stitch. And, uh, I think I was just taking a break from knitting because I did so much knitting. And I did get a lot of knitting done last year. Uh, for Christmas, I ended up with, I had knitted six pairs of socks, and they're all men, size 12 and up, uh, extra wides. I knitted six pairs of socks. I knitted three hats. I knitted three cowls. I knitted two pair of the felted slippers. And I made one amigurumi dinosaur or dragon yeah dragon and that was all my Christmas knitting that I did and then that along with the other pair of socks that I made for myself throughout the year plus I finished a sweater and a hat for myself I think that's all my uh, my knitting and I crocheted uh, worked on crocheting a blanket, and I think I finished a blanket or something last year. So I did, I got a lot of work done last year, but I'm just, I'm still knitting and crocheting. I'm just not knitting as much as I did last year, but I am still knitting. I always have a pair of socks with me on the go, and I have this one finished, and now into my whips, I have Another pair of socks, and these are the Hermani's Everyday Socks. Let me bring it up. The 
They're her the Hermione's Every, Everyday Socks by Erica Louder. And the yarn that I'm using is the uh, Deborah Norville's uh, Serenity Sock Weight and the um, Sugar Brown. It I mean sugar, pink sugar. It's shades of pink and shades of uh, uh, brown in these or burgundy. And this is how. This is how they're knitting up so far. And I do the same thing. I did like the one and a half inch ribbing. And then I came down to start the heel. And I did the fish lips kiss heel. And I'm working down the foot. And I have about a. Um, uh, about three fourths of an inch. A half to three fourths of an inch to go before I start the heel. And just like everything else. I did the fish lips kiss heel. Because that's my. Favorite heel, and I have that one memorized already, and it fits our it fit our heels very well. So that's what I have. I have my other sock, and this is the first one of this pair. So I'll probably finish this today, uh, doing the uh, finish the little bit of knitting and then the toe. I'll work on that after I finish recording, and then start the other heel. And my next knitting item I have is a hat. And so far, I don't have much of it done. I just have a, I'm working on the twisted rib. I'm going to do this maybe an inch and a half to two inches of uh, a ribbing. And then I'm just going to switch. I'm going to increase and just knit until I do my decreases. It's just a uh, plain little hat. And the yarn that I'm using for this one is uh, Lion Brand, uh, Vanna White's uh, Vanna's Glamour. And the colorway is uh, Graystone. And it's uh, silvery gray with... Um, shimmering shimmers in it the last thing i have is what i've been crocheting on and it, it is the basket weave diamond throw by bonnie baker and so far i'm using a j hook and i think later i'm going to have to switch to an h or i i don't remember which one and the yarn that i'm using the green is they're both red heart with love and the, the, the green that I'm using is the lettuce. And then the little accents of the, these little strips here is the uh, water lily. And last time I showed you, as this is a free pattern. You can find it online. Uh, it's all mainly single crochet. And... Uh, that's what you can see. You can see the background of it as a single crochet. And it's, I, I love working on this because it's all, if you hear a little scratching, that's my cat scratching on, on my, uh, on a bag that's laying on the floor. Uh, because it's all new stitches that I haven't done before. And so uh, I was working in the background down here. So I have this much done from the last time I showed it to you. I don't work on this a lot because I usually do do my knitting more and I pick this up when I'm I want to break from knitting I pick this up and do a little bit more so this is what I have done so far this isn't a rush this is just the throw I'm making for my husband to go on the back of the chair where he sits at so it's not a rush but it is this is a gorgeous gorgeous design I can't wait to uh, get it finished but I'm not looking to finish it anytime not even this year Maybe next year I'll have it all done. But it is working out absolutely gorgeous. I love all the different stitches that it's doing. And that's just, it's going to go on the back of the chair that he sits at. Because he loves, his favorite colors are green and purple. Even though that room is blue, this will still go on his the chair that he sits at. Because this is for him. And that's all that I have. And that's all that I have for my knitting and crocheting.
uh, for my goodies I have. Uh, I did buy, I found this yarn the, um, that I'm making the hat out of, and I'm going to also make me a cow. Uh, the Van of Glamour by Lion Brand. Uh, I bought four skeins of this. I found it at the store, and it is a size 2. And it's 90% acrylic, 96% acrylic, 4% metallic polyester. It's 202 yards, and it's a size 2. So I found these at a store that we have here. I, I always mention it called Marks and they were 99 cent. So I bought four of those to do me a hat and a scarf. And I also picked up uh, these two bags at Joann's. They're cosmetic bags and they were on sale for $4.396, $3.97. And I like these for my little projects, like I have a sock in this one, I have the uh, hat in this one, because I can just throw them, you know, roll them up like this and throw them down in a bag, my purse or my work bag or something like that. And they fit down in there real nice and not take up a lot of room and they can smush down, you know, as far as your yarn can smush down. So I picked up a couple of those. And I've been trying to be good, so that's all of my um, that's all of my goodies that I picked up for this month. Uh, like I said, I you know my knitting is a little slower, so hopefully I st I will still be able to keep to them once a month. But I had took a break a little bit, so that's why I'm here at the end of February showing. So hopefully I'll be back at the end of March, and I'll have some more finished items and some more new starts. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Bye-bye.